Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to The Mixer, the show that brings you a whole lot of different kinds of information from all over the world and the internet and puts it here in one little playlist for you guys, you know, talking about different things. And I hope you guys are enjoying my videos lately that have been more informative, trying to educate you guys and give you really cool, what I consider to be cool and interesting pieces of info and trivia from around the, the planet, you know. And today I'm gonna to be talking about possibly the person who I most admire on this planet, which is, of course, Bill Gates, you know, one of the wealthiest people on the planet, currently sitting at the second place uh, behind just Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. You know, I don't know why. I think Bill Gates should have a lot more money, but anyway, that's just semantics, you know. Bill Gates was born um, William Henry Gates III, so he's actually the third of uh, his uh, little line of blood thingamajigabop. So there have been two more Bill Gates before him. That is crazy, imagine the fourth. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is, the, the, the founder, creator, and CEO of Microsoft, who I think he, uh, he actually, um, blah, he stepped down from Microsoft some time ago when he was actually the biggest shareholder until 2014. But anyway, he was a, a pioneer, you know, back in the, the uh, the microcomputer revolution back in the 70s and 80s, you know, so he pretty much created computers, you know, you know, Microsoft Windows, so yeah. And I really admire him for a few different reasons. One is because obviously he's one of the richest people on the planet, you know, we can always admire somebody who's wealthy, but he's just so intelligent, you know, and his ideas uh, coming to fruition the way that they did, creating all of these amazing pieces of technology, you know. And I have recently begun a job teaching informatics out of school, so it's really cool to study up on him and tell him, tell my students about him a little bit more, you know, give him that bit of trivia. And today I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about him. You know, I have separated, you know, I have combed the internet, you know, and done a lot of research for this video and I have prepared a few what I consider to be mind-blowing facts about this guy's wealth, you know, just how rich he is, you know? And some of these facts may even surprise you guys. You may not even have known some of these before watching this video. So let's get right into it. At the time of me recording this video right now in November 2020, Bill Gates is sitting on a nice and clean 119 billion dollars. That is how much money he has right now. You know, he's sitting on that much right now, but tomorrow it'll probably, you know, increase by another 20 billion or so. You know, his he's always making more. Bill Gates is the kind of person who he makes money and like, I don't know, he spends it, but then he probably makes without even trying three times the amount that he spent, you know? And he gives a lot of his money to charities and he invests in other things, you know? And and he invests a lot of money, you know? And I do mean a lot of money, but still, it, it, it money never stops stops coming into his bank account. You know, he probably has a bunch of different bank accounts, you know. Now, the average North American spending just $1 is the same as Bill Gates spending $1.6 million. That is a lot of money, guys. Like, if you drop $1 on the street, you're probably not gonna, you know, look too much into it. I'm the kind of person who would pick up the dollar. I would even pick up one cent, a penny, you know. But I'm, you know, I'm very, very, uh, when it comes to money, I, I'm like a scorpion, you know. But Bill Gates dropping $1 million on the ground, he probably wouldn't even go back to pick it up, you know. $1 million can change the lives of a lot of people, especially me. I would probably be set for the next 10 years of my life with 1 million bucks, you know. And this guy can drop that on the ground and not even, like it's it's pocket change to him you know it's a lot of cash guys it is a lot of cash you know we're dealing with a guy who can who can literally just drop one million dollars on the ground and not feel it you know it's pocket change to him over the years, Bill Gates has given approximately 27% of his net worth to charities, you know, charitable organizations, you know, like he also donated a lot of money to fight cancer, and he was working on a project in poorer parts of Africa, making, trying to create water, you know, potable water out of fecal matter. It's not a very good show to watch if you're in the middle of eating something, but whatever, you know. And just in the past year, Bill Gates has become $12 billion richer. He has made $12 billion in the past year alone, you know. I mean, imagine making $12 billion a year, man. I mean, pfft, like, how, what do you even do with that? There are people who are lucky if they make $12,000 a year, you know, to provide for their families, you know. This guy makes $12 billion a year. I mean, like, those kinds of numbers, I mean, it's... I don't know. I just know that right now uh, he is currently like 28 billion dollars richer than he was, you know, uh, about six years ago in 2014, which is pretty crazy. That is really, 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 really insane. And it's so much money that it's hard to comprehend these figures in your head, you know. <laughs> It's estimated that Bill Gates makes approximately $380 a second. A second. Every one second, 
he's making 380 bucks. If I made that in a week, I would be the happiest person in the world. You know, he makes that much in a second. I mean, Jesus. You know, every second that you exist, this guy's making 380 bucks, you know? That means that it is literally, in every sense of the word and the expression, it is literally not worth his time to pick up a $100 bill that he drops on the ground, you know? Like he opens his wallet and $100 just flies out and goes backwards. It's not worth his time to go back and pick that up, but if I pick it up, I'm gonna be happy as hell, you know? It's literally not worth his time, you know? Because, I mean, he makes $280 more than that every second you know so i mean and it's not like this guy is flaunting his wealth he's actually known to be very down to earth and humble you know he doesn't go around buying expensive things you know of course he has his little mansion you know with for his family which i think is okay everyone deserves to buy the house they want you know i forgot where he lives but i know it's somewhere in the united states <laughs> i know it's somewhere in the us of a you know and uh god um what else is i gonna say oh yeah so Woo, my leg started really itching. So here's the thing. Let's just say, let's just say that he starts, he were to spend $1 million a day, you know? If he spends $1 million exactly to the dot, to this down to the cent every single day, it would take him 285 years to spend all of his wealth. I mean, try to imagine spending that much money, 285, that's 1 million a day, guys. <laughs> 1 million a day, you know? I mean, uh, uh, pfft, math, man. Math really boggles my mind, you know? And he does, like I said before, he doesn't really indulge in royalties. He does have a private jet, which I can't understand. I mean, it's easier and faster to go around. And he is getting older. He probably doesn't walk too much, you know? And he has a home that's, uh, yeah. I remembered Washington, his home is worth $125 million, you know, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't pay rent. He probably bought the place or financed it. He built it himself, you know, but still $1 million every day for 285 years. That is crazy, man. Like I wouldn't even exist. I don't think YouTube would still exist and this guy would still be spending his money. My God. Bill Gates's fortune could buy himself about 81 million Troy ounces of gold. Troy ounces of gold. Do you guys know what that means? Neither do I. <laughs> but it's a lot of gold. It is a lot of gold. And actually, uh, I have kind of a, an idea, a rough estimate. I did research. It was about, uh, uh, I forgot. It's like, I don't know, 1.5 billion barrels of crude oil, but also um, uh, ounces of gold, ounces of gold. I think each one is... Uh, I think one troy ounce of gold is about a thousand bucks, uh, 1,280 bucks or so, more or less. That's about one troy ounce of gold. And he could buy 81 million ounces of that. I mean, that's a lot of gold. I don't really know what I would do with gold. I prefer to have actual money, but there are people who can measure their wealth with gold and silver and stuff. But that is a lot of gold, guys. That is a lot of gold. What the hell would he do with it? I don't even know, but he could buy it. Even though Bill Gates co-founded the company of Microsoft, he actually owns right now about 1.3% of its sharings, you know, the entire company's sharings. And that still puts him at over $100 billion of uh, net worth. Guys, that is insane. He only owns like a little over 1% of Microsoft and he's still the second richest guy on the planet, you know? It doesn't make sense. He's like over $119 billion and this guy only owns 1% of his own company, you know? That is crazy, you know, and also it accounts to about uh, all of that, the 1.3% share in Microsoft accounts for about, I think, 12.5% of his entire wealth, you know. Everything else is, you know, investments, things he does on the side, here and there, this and blah, 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 you know. But that is still a lot of stuff. That is still a lot of uh, percentage there, you know, if you're going to meet the bean ratio. I don't know why I said meet to bean ratio. I'm not talking about burritos here. I'm getting lost, guys. It's so much money that I'm actually getting lost. Bill Gates' net worth is greater than the GPD of the Bahamas, Cambodia, and Croatia combined. Combined. That means that this guy makes more money than these three countries combined. I have a little cheat sheet here because I knew that the time would come when I forgot the, the research. So I have a little cheat sheet here with some, some uh, key uh, things highlighted. So the, uh, the GPD in Croatia is about $63.8 billion. In Cambodia, it's 26.6. And in the Bahamas, it's 12.8 billion. Remember that Bill Gates has $119 billion to his name. That is a lot, a lot of money, you know? 
Bill Gates could give every single person on this planet right now $10 and he would still have over $30 billion left over. <laughs> Guys, there are over 7 billion people on this planet, you know? If we're being specific, I did not even try to memorize this. It's going to show up on the screen right now. 7,346,235,000 people, you know? And that's of about four years ago. So he could give each one of those people $10 and still have over $30 billion left over. Try to imagine that, like trying to give, you give money to every living soul on this planet and still have that much more left over, you know? And Bill Gates having a heart of gold, he would definitely give a lot more than that if he could, you know? Now, here's the thing. Um, I have one here that is a little bit harder to memorize. You know, there are certain things that I couldn't memorize, guys. So I had to have a, a cheat sheet here on my phone. But ac um, according to a Social Security Administration study, the average American man with a bachelor's degree will earn about $2.2 million in his lifetime. And Bill Gates makes that in a little over an hour and a half. So <laughs> like if you go to college and you get a degree and you, you know, really work hard and get promoted, do everything right, it takes you about your entire life to make 2.2 million bucks. You know, the guy makes that in an hour and 30 minutes, man. That is crazy. And yeah, it's the same thing with the woman. A woman would earn $1.3 million in her lifetime. I think it's unfair that women make less money, but whatever, you know. So he makes about, Bill Gates makes 220, no, sorry, $22,831 every minute. Every damn minute. That is insane. Wow. And that's it, guys. I think I'm gonna stop here because the video might be getting a bit too long already. You know, there's a lot of uh, little cuts and there's gonna be a lot of editing, a lot of stuff popping up, so I'm gonna try to not keep it too long. But just to give you guys a few little tidbits of information here at the very end, to those of you who think that Bill Gates is an arrogant douche who doesn't share his wealth, he has invested $50 million into Alzheimer's research, and then later, $30 million to a venture philanthropy fund called Diagnostics Accelerator, which has the aim of diagnosing Alzheimer's a lot earlier. And he and his wife, Melinda Gates, have traveled to Tanzania and other countries for charity work and they've donated millions of dollars more to causes that include health and development and education. You guys can go watch that show on Netflix called Inside the Mind of Bill Gates I think where it talks about one of his projects that he made that he was working on like I said before in Africa and I think it's really cool what he does you know because I think that he's the kind of person every everyone should strive to be the kind of billionaire the kind of business magnet that has wealth and he gives it to people he uses it to research and invest you know things that certain governments and countries don't do you know he actually cares about people and wants to use his wealth to move forward you know why didn't this guy ever run for president why do we have donald trump you know now we have joe biden i'm not complaining i actually wanted joe biden to win but still why did bill gates never run for president why did trump run why does kanye west want to it doesn't make sense you know i think someone like bill gates would make an excellent president of the united states but that's it guys that is today's video i hope you enjoyed it you know i just wanted to uh share some facts about somebody who I think is really cool. You know, I think Bill Gates is honestly uh, the best person for you to uh, be inspired by, you know, not just because he's rich, but because of how he became rich, you know, a lot of hard work and dedication and thinking outside of the box, you know. Uh, Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, was also very similar to him, but of course, nowhere near the same net worth, you know. That's just crazy. But yeah, we should all strive to be more like Bill Gates, you know. And if Bill Gates ever sees this video, I just want to thank you for being who you are, man, you know. And if you would like to, you know, uh, if we ever meet up and you happen to drop a few couple uh, hundred dollar bills, just let me know so I can pick them up immediately. Because <laughs> it's literally not worth your time to pick them up yourself, right? But okay, that's it, guys. I'm going to end the video here because I still have a lot more to record, you know, and I think this one is getting too long already. If you admire Bill Gates the same way I do, give this video a like, drop a comment or two, you know, and tell me what you admire most about him, all right? This is Chazzy signing out for now, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.